Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set cue points and save them to your memory bank. And these cue points are also called memory cues. So here's the memory bank and it has 10 slots right here. And you can save up to 10 cue points or 10 loops in this memory bank. And the reason why loops are saved in here is because they always start with a cue point. We also have the hot cue bank and you can save up to three hot cues and I'll be showing you that in a later video as well. So check that out if you're interested. But right now we're in the memory bank and we're going to set our first cue point. So I have it set here at the first beat and if you need to readjust, you can just move the beat around and position it and then hit your cue point. Also, we have quantize set right here, which means it's gonna jump to the nearest beat grid point and snap to it. So to save it, we just hit memory and then it shows up right here. And then you can add a title to it. And then if you right click or control click, you can add a color. And now you'll see that the cue point is here in the memory. It's here on the top line and that means it's in the memory bank. You can also see it here and you can see it on the preview. So let's set another cue point. Here we are and I'm going to set it at this mark. So remember we're on quantize, quantize is set. So even if it's not right on the mark, it will jump to that nearest beat grid marker. And there we go. So now we have that cue and then we just save it to the memory bank and title it. And add a color to it. Now let's set another cue point and this time let's do it without quantize being on. So I'm going to set it right here. And this is useful for when you don't want it to set on a beat grid marker if you have like some random area that you want to set it on. So I'm going to deselect quantize, hit Q, and now it doesn't jump to the nearest beat grid marker, it just stays right there. And then we hit memory, and here it shows up right here. Now notice it's in the middle, and that's because it does it chronologically. So. We have this one, the first one, the purple one, and then the yellow one, and this one right here is before the yellow one, so that's why it shows up right here. And we're gonna apply a color. So now we can scroll through these cue points using the call buttons. And we can also trigger them by hitting these call buttons right here. If we want to delete a cue point, we can either delete it here, or we can get right on top of it and delete it with this X right here. So that's the basics of setting cue points and saving them into the memory bank. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.